twice or twice. I mean, that's the game you want to be a part of. I mean, 1-1 one, one game, I mean, it's what you want to be a part of. That's what you dream of, the 1-1 one, game, you know, going in the last inning, do, do whatever you can to win. So it's a fun game to be a part of. And, you know, it didn't go our way today, but we got another game tomorrow. Yeah, I would just add on to that. Um, I mean, it was a dogfight from inning one to the very end, a lot of high leverage moments from both teams and uh, just a lot of battles, and it was really good. I mean, I mean, we talked in the locker room, um, just you know, staying locked in, keep each other up, um, just having fun with it. That's what we tried to do in the locker room, you know, upbeat, and that's what we'll plan on doing in the future as well. Yeah, to go off that, I would say, yeah, um, maybe keep it a little loose in the locker room, but know when we come back down to the field, it's time to go, you know. Uh, no taking pitches to get ready. I mean, we're just, as soon as we're on the field, we're ready. Chase, what helped you settle in after that first inning? Uh, honestly, I don't. I think maybe the crowd got to me a little bit. I hadn't, you know, been in an environment like that in a while. And uh, just kind of staying within myself was getting a little jumpy. And uh, just, yeah, I would say mostly just finding myself and getting in the groove. Um, I would say I, I would say earlier on I was up, but then I got the fastball down, and I, I tend to throw a pretty downhill fastball, and then that's just kind of the way I guess hitters approach me, and I I tend to get a lot of flyouts throughout the season. So, Dylan, can you kind of speak to some of the struggles offensively tonight? What was Maryland doing on the mound that was causing you guys some trouble? Honestly, I just. I don't think it came to our approach or anything. I just think it wasn't our night uh, from a hitting standpoint. Um, I know what we're capable of doing, and, and it just didn't go our way tonight. Anything else, players? Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Question for Coach? Will you just kind of speak to the – yeah, that was uh, kind of an unexpected uh, finish to that game. Um, yeah, just yeah, he was rolling pretty good. They weren't taking a lot of good swings off of him, and um, you know it was a it was a battle right there. You know, a couple of foul balls that were nearly caught, and um, yeah, tip tip your cap there. I mean, what a swing in, a, in that situation. Yeah, win tomorrow. I mean, that's it. I mean, we got to do everything we can to win tomorrow. And that, that's really the only thing. That's what I told the team. I mean, that's you can't be looking at, at what you know is in front of you. You just you got to go win one game, and um, you know we, we got to play better tomorrow. Just to give ourselves that chance. And I say play better. Um, I, I didn't feel like we played a poorly tonight, but just we got to make some winning plays tomorrow. And I, th I think we're going to be on the right side of that. How do you keep tonight a very emotional game that you guys came out on the short end of? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's they're it's emotional for now. I mean they're, they, these these guys are heartbroken after that game, and um, you know they invest so much and they care so much, and so yeah, I mean and I guess those were the words that I used with them. It's just it's gonna hurt. It should hurt, you know, for for tonight. Um, but we got to find a way to win one game, and that's that's really the, the only thing that we got to think about. And our team's been pretty resilient throughout the course of the year, um, so I, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Yeah, I, I thought he was even rowdier when we came back from the uh, from the delay. Um, the, the, it was it was a unique game because there just wasn't a lot of scoring, you know. So there wasn't a ton to cheer for. But um, yeah, I thought it was it was electric, especially after the rain delay, and um, you know a lot of you know it was just it was a great at college atmosphere. Uh, not good, you know. And you can tip your cap to Maryland, and 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 I thought they were really really good. Um, but I, I felt like we were a little caught in between offensively tonight, just at the plate. Um, almost the exact opposite of felt like where we were yesterday, where it was a lot of 
good aggressive swings and then taking the borderline pitches. I felt like tonight we were a little too picky, and there were some pitches that even maybe that were called balls that we can do some stuff with. And um, you know, we'll 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 address that with the group, and uh, you know, make that adjustment you know tomorrow because we're going to need to. No. No. Yeah, you know, I was uh, hopefully looking for Luke and Shaw to get on, and uh, you know, obviously the ballpark wasn't carrying that well, and uh, you know, that pitcher did a really good job of mixing up stuff, and uh, you know, I was lucky enough to just see an elevated slider and you know, put it in play. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows Nicky's a great hitter, and he's definitely one of the best hitters in the country. And you never want your guy to be down to two strikes with two outs and anything like that. And I was talking to somebody in the dugout. I'm like, if he gets an elevated slider, this game's over. So, you know, we got a lot of trust in Nicky, and, you know, he does what he does. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, you know, I had a slow start to the season, and I feel like I'm starting to feel my groove finally. Um, and you know, we got a great offense, and uh, we're known for our offense. And they haven't been hot the last two days, and they're, they've been hot the whole season. So it's about time we pick them up. And you know, it's just me doing my part, just like everybody is. Thank you. Yeah, I mean that's that's a great baseball game. We're got, I know I know shoot Will and his group are, are hurting right now as as they should be. We would be on the other end too, but they played an unbelievable baseball ball game. Kaminska was awesome. Shannon, I'm so ready for that guy to be out of college because he eats our lunch every time we face him. Um, I was hoping he threw about 80 pitches yesterday, so we didn't have to see him today. But um, just a really, really tough baseball game. A lot of emotion on both sides. The crowd was awesome. Um, that was going to boil down to a play or a pitch or, or whatever it was. And, um, you know, we were fortunate. Nicky Lowe got a pitch elevated, and, you know, I, I, I told him last weekend, you know, I think that guy's – along with Anderson, along with Matthews. Those guys are some of the best hitters, not only in our conference, but in the country. And so, you know, Shannon made one mistake. It stayed up. His stuff was electric today. It stayed up, and, and Nicky Lowe got him. But what a great baseball game. And that's what it's about this time of year, find a way to win. And I was really proud of our arms. You know, they've they've taken a little bit of flack this year because, you know, we've got riders at home talking about how they give up 10 runs every game and we have to score more and for them to come out when it when it really matters when when the season kind of hangs in the balance and and keep us in there and give us a chance i'm really proud of the toughness and, and coach morrison and coach pap and how they've developed that mentality with those guys how unusual was that to, to play to win a low scoring game like this you guys <laughs> seem like you do do it on the other side is there a different kind of vibe to winning it in this fashion? yeah you know i grew up in the big 12 i played at kansas state i like big 12 football i like when it's 85 to 72 those are my town of games and it seems like we played a lot of baseball games that look like that this year um but yeah i think you know we had a conversation i mentioned this last night we had a conversation probably two weeks ago um 
And I told him, I said, boys, you get, you love each other. This group has spent a lot of time together. I don't care if you're hitting 390 or 190. I don't care if you're pitching at a 12 or at a 1. Nothing matters moving forward. Just find a way. Refuse to lose. Find a way to win and just lay it on the line. Because I promise, and this is something I learned really from Coach Childress and all of his kind of disciples throughout coaching is, man, it's not about pretty. And people don't remember your stats 20 years from now. They're going to remember the trophies. They're going to remember the dog piles. They're going to remember the memories that you make together. Um, and this group's done that. They've There's no 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 secret. There's some draft picks here. We're going to lose some guys this year. Um, but they're just laying it out there for each other. And I couldn't be more proud of their effort. I would be saying the same thing if we'd have lost 2-1 today. Just the way we competed throughout the day, the unselfishness for a guy like Jason Savicole to put his cleats down and run down to the pen. I mean, that speaks to the character of this group, and I'm, I'm really proud to coach them. Can you speak to the crowd's involvement in this game? Was there a moment where you felt like it affected something or it was maybe different than what you guys had seen from different places here? I tell you what, I, I, I told our guys this out in the pregame thing. I remember catching for K-State in Lincoln, and when the Go Big Red chant starts, you're literally trying to remind yourself to catch the baseball when you're behind the plate. It's uh, – it's one of the best crowds in the country. And they showed up tonight, and they were electric, and they were hanging on every pitch. Um, you know, I thought they were outstanding. And I think that's really good for us, regardless of what side we were on. You know, we talk about why we went down and played Ole Miss this year. And, you know, that at the time, that's when Ole Miss really had it going. They were ranked four in the country, and there was 8,000 people at the game. So that's why you go down there. So then in a game like tonight, it's not the first time some of these kids have seen that. And, and hopefully our season gets to continue next week. And depending on where we go, you could be in a similar atmosphere. So I thought the crowd was awesome. I've always loved the Nebraska fans. They'll give it to you, man. They'll wear you out. But – but they know baseball, and, and they get it, and they cheer for the Huskers hard, man. And it was a fun environment to play in tonight, and, and I think our boys were, were pretty present and didn't let the game get too big for them. Anything else for Coach? Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys.